And one more thing or a couple of things I need to say more about the restoration of the uh, Salvatore Mundi. Uh, the Salvatore Mundi is one of Leonardo's uh, uh, most copied paintings. Uh, it, uh, with, with about 12 known examples executed by uh, his pupils and others. Uh, fairly copied by a lot. There was a uh, searching for secrets within it, and they had to draw it and, and, and paint it over and over again. But maybe never finding anything, and maybe finding something. Uh, various copies of the painting were made by followers of Leonardo, including his pupil Salaj uh, in 1511, a Salai in 1511, and some versions uh, differ significantly from the original, uh, with a few, including one by his uh, pupil, Mark de Argiono. Uh, this was about circa 1500. And another by Sale, depicting a more joyful, a more youthful, youthful subject as the Cell Mundi, uh, uh, Salvatore Mundi. Now, Leonardo's version was thought to have been lost uh, and this occurred around the mid 17th century. Uh, and so about around in 1978, uh, Joanne Snow Smith developed a compelling case uh, that uh, the supposed copy located in Marquis Joan Louis de Carnet collection in Paris was lost. It was the lost original based on its similarity to uh, St. John the Baptist. Now, uh, many art historians were convinced as she was able to establish a direct historical uh, uh, connection between Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, the engraving by uh, when a Sesclos Holler and the painting in the Ghana collection. And so uh, uh, the, 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 uh, we're getting closer to, maybe it was the original by uh, Leonardo da Vinci uh, because some things were coming together. They thought it was lost, but however, uh, it was believed to have been found. Now, continuing, in 2005, in 2005, a Salvatore Monday was presented and acquired at an auction. Uh, the monetary value was, was less than $10,000 uh, by a consortium of art dealers that included Alexander Parrish and Robert Simon, a specialist in old masters. And so, this was uh, this. It was sold from the estate of Baton Rouge businessman Basil Clovis Hendry, Hendry Senior, at the St. Charles Gallery auction house in New Orleans. It had been heavily overpainted, heavily overpainted, so it looked like a copy, and was before 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 restoration described as a wreck, uh, dark and gloomy. And that's how they described it because of the over painting that was trying, that the painter, the restoration was trying to uh, get close to the original, but they did not have, of course, the same strokes as uh, Leonardo da Vinci had to come up with it being uh, uh, similar to Leonardo da Vinci. However, the painting was restored. Uh, the, uh, the, um, the consortium believed that there was a possibility that this seemingly low quality work might be uh, the, the missing Leonardo da Vinci. And they commissioned uh, Diane Dwyer Modestini at New York University to oversee the rest restoration. So she oversaw the restoration and uh, they began removing all the overpainting with uh, acetone 
uh, leading her to discover that at some point, a stepped area of unevenness near uh, Yeshua's or Christ's face had been shaved down with a sharp object. And so uh, this, this stepped area uh, was, was a little bit too low uh, for the paintings uh, uh, to be uh, accepted as being uh, paint strokes as it should have been. And also leveled uh, it, it, uh, with a mixture of gesso, paint and glue. So um, the, 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 the sharp object kind of like uh, shaved down the painting and it was also leveled by some other mixtures and artwork. Now using an infrared, using infrared photographs, uh, Simon had taken on, uh, taken uh, the painting and, uh, um, and tried to clear it up. Uh, so using infrared photograph, Simon, he took the painting and most uh, modestly discovered a, a pen ten minto, a pen temo. So this uh, uh, is earlier draft when they started on, on revealing all the overpainting, this uh, uh, pentimento uh, of the painting, which had the blessing hands, thumb in a straight rather than curved position. And as you see the picture, the, uh, the hand is, uh, is, is, uh, is straight, is, is curved now, but it was straight before. And this is, this is, this is a painting by Leonardo da Vinci, which has, has become derived as people see it. So is it original or is it not? And what is the meaning of this, uh, this painting if indeed people were uh, making their own um, uh, additions and modifications. So uh, the discovery that, and I'll say Christ uh, had two thumbs. They said Christ had two thumbs um, on his right hand. That was crucial. Uh, because, uh, of course, that meant that one of the thumbs had been added or tried to be over uh, painted on the original uh, painting, the drawing. And so um, uh, this uh, pentimento uh, um, a literary, literally repentance showed the artist had a second thought about the positioning of the thumb. Uh, the artist who wanted to modify the painting, bring it back to its original uh, condition, thought that the thumb of, of the Christ was, uh, it should have been in a different position for his own or her uh, satisfaction. And so these are deviations in the painting already being discovered as they are cleaning up the overpainted artwork. Uh, now such a second thought is considered evidence that uh, this is not a copy, but indeed an original. Uh, since copiers would have no doubts about uh, composition. So they're finding that the uh, artwork found is, uh, is an original. Uh, uh, Modest, Modestini proceeded to have panel specialists Monica Gribosh chiseled off a marble flagged wood panel, which had been uh, tunneled through by worms, causing the painting to break into seven pieces. And I'll show you that uh, later in the, in the video. So the uh, uh, worms digging through the painting and it breaks into seven pieces. A lot had to be done to that painting to bring it about to some semblance of what uh, Leonardo da Vinci had in mind. Uh, so, um, Gurebosch reassembled the painting with adverse, with adhesive uh, and wood uh, uh, slivers. 
and that is how Gurevach, Gurevach uh, reassembled the painting using uh, adhesive and crude things like adhesive and wood slivers. Uh, in late 2006, the uh, um, Modestiny began her restoration effort to bring the painting about. Uh, art historian Martin Kemp was critical of the result, which he saw that uh, Modestiny had done in a, rest a restoration. Both thumbs of the painting of the painting's raw state are rather better than one painted by Diane. And that's, uh, that was uh, Martin Kemp telling uh, Diane uh, Modestini, uh, telling Modestini that, Modestini, excuse me, Modestini, that the painting that she was restoring to her to make it look uh, 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 presentable was had some problems and had problems and so however the work was subsequently authenticated as a painting by Leonardo da Vinci and so uh, this restoration was 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 critical and and it revealed that there was an original painting underneath the uh, over the over painting and that it was uh, the the painting of uh, Leonardo da Vinci, and so that's what I wanted to talk to you about restoration. Now, uh, uh, I will I will go on to um, to show you some of the uh, the features of the of the, um, uh, the the restoration of this of this painting. Mm -hmm.